I'm arriving on location and checking for scene safety. There appear to be numerous hazards including an unstable vehicle, uneven terrain, and a slipping hazard from the snow. At this time, there's at least one patient, and I will need additional resources including ALS and possibly the fire department. This appears to be mechanism of injury of blunt trauma due to a motor vehicle crash. There will be C-spine precautions taken for this patient. I to the patient. I see he has some major gross bleeding. I'm going to cover it with a trauma dressing. Make an attempt to stop it with direct pressure. Okay. Right, at this time, I see the direct pressure has not stopped the hemorrhaging. Decided to put a tourniquet on this patient. All right, sir, we're going to tighten this down. It might hurt a little bit. Cinch that down as far as I could. I'm going to begin turning until the hemorrhaging slows down. I'm going to lock this in place. And I'm going to document the time. At right, this time, I'm going to check the patient for responsiveness. Sir, can you hear me? Yeah. Sir? Mm. All right, here's responsive to verbal stimuli. I'm going to have my partner hold C spine. And he does have a good solid radial pulse. Checking his airway. Checking for debris, blood, vomit, loose teeth, and it is clear. Checking his work of breathing, make sure he is breathing. I do have equal chest rise and fall. At this time, I'm going to expose the patient. So I'm going to do my detailed physical exam with one hand. I'm checking for any kind of fractures, any kind of depression within the skull, behind the neck, the mandible and the maxilla. Again, looking in the airway, it is still clear. Checking in the ears for any blood or clear fluid. And looking behind the ears for any kind of bruising. Okay, checking the neck, making sure the trachea is in line. There's no distended neck veins, and there are not. Going down the sternum, it is intact. The clavicles, reaching as far back as I could for any kind of decap BTLS. Checking behind the ribs, as far back, posterior, as I can get. Looking for any kind of flail segment. And that is intact. At this time, I'm gonna get my lung sounds. Clear. 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 Clear, clear, and clear. This time I'm going to check the abdomen. Use my full palm. Check for any kind of tenderness, distension. The entire time I'm looking up at my patient, making sure there's no kind of uh, movement. Checking down the pelvis. It is stable. Now the first lower extremity, butterfly technique. Okay, checking for a pulse. I do have a solid pulse. And again on the other side. Slide my hands down. I'm not jumping. And again, checking for a pulse, and I do have a pulse. Sir, can you pull your toes up towards your head? Good, and push down like gas pedals. Very good. Going up to the upper extremities. Same butterfly technique. Down all the way down the fingers, checking for a pulse. Good, and other side. And this is the side with the injury. I do not expect to feel a pulse here because of the tourniquet. Sir, can you squeeze my fingers? Very good. At this time, I'm going to put a collar on the patient. I'm going to log roll him and do a posterior exam. At this time, I'm going to do a complete posterior exam in the C-spine. There's no deformities. 
checking the complete posterior side, including the extremities. Okay. At this time, I'm going to roll the patient on the board on my partner's count. One, two, three. And we're going to secure the patient.